Hi guys, this is a video build log of my first attempt at putting together a uh, quadcopter. Uh, the kit that I chose to put together is the uh, DJI um, Flamewheel 450 with some custom modifications. Uh, the kit itself consists of uh, the frame, uh, four motors, uh, four 8-inch props and four 10-inch props, in addition to the um, to four 30 amp ECS's that I have here attached to the bottom of each arm. Uh, for the flight software, flight controller software, I decided to go with the multi -Wii, um code running, that's running on a um, custom Arduino board with an integrated barometer, magnetometer, and um, uh, accelerometer. And uh, that board allows for stable flight with the quadrocopter um, providing for heading hold and um, altitude hold um, from the barometer. In addition to the barometer, I have this um, uh, U-Blocks uh, GPS attached, external GPS attached to the board. Uh, it's, been, it's been raised away from the board with these one-inch risers to prevent interference from the rest of the electronics. Um, I've also attached a fairly cheap Bluetooth module to the board that I picked up at Hobby King that allows me to connect to the board and check the monitor or to monitor the status of the of the chip um, in the field using an Android tablet um, and not having to lug a, a laptop out there. Um, I've also attached a um, capacitor to the board in case of power loss, basically, if the if the board or if the quadcopter starts pulling too much energy, too much power, um, the uh, the capacitor will prevent uh, a brownout um, and allow you to recover. So, in addition to this, I've I've added um, a 900 megahertz transmitter for to send down video in real time, uh, and that's there attached to a 450 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. Uh, the transmitter is, I have attached this um, SMC connector cable to the 900 megahertz antenna that I've threaded through one of the holes here in the landing um, landing gear. Um, speaking of which, I've attached four uh, landing gear um, uh, struts. Um, this is basically for, um, uh, to have uh, a little extra um, support for my first attempt at landing and taking off. Um, so I chose to go with the um, Fry Sky um, telemetry receiver and transmitter. So this basically will send down, in addition to receiving commands from the transmitter, it'll send down information regarding the voltage of the battery um, and other information uh, about the about the quad. Um, the transmitter that I'm using is the Turnigy 9XR, which works extremely well given its relatively low cost. Um, let's see, so I've also attached uh, a GoPro Hero, um, this is a silver I believe, um, to the bottom of the uh, quad just um, using the standard GoPro mount on the bottom of the, uh, of the bottom plate. And this allows me to just basically change the the, the angle here to for uh, for first person view uh, view uh, flights. So the the enclosure that I chose to go with is just basically a an IKEA Tupperware that's been painted um, black, and so that fits over that and protects protects the electronics from any kind of moisture or things that you encounter out out in the field. Um, to indicate. Uh, forward and rear, I've attached these this LED tape, which is basically just powered via 12 volt connection. Um, so it's basically I have the connection straight going straight from the power distribution board here, where the um, 12 volt lithium polymer battery that powers the motors um, gets distributed to the four ECSs and then for, to the four motors. Um, basically, this, the LED strips are connected to the same power system. And um, the front ones are blue, the rear ones are red. The idea being that it'll be able to give me an orientation out in the field. So I can plug this in. And 
and you get a sense of the of the LED system. So um, I've also attached an external BEC to regulate the power from the battery. Uh, this provides a constant five volt uh, energy source to the quadrocopter. Um, this was, I put this, I originally had this in the enclosure and unfortunately it produces an, a significant amount of, um, uh, a significant uh, magnetic field that it disrupts the magnetometer. So I've actually put that um, further back to avoid interference. And you can see the various electronics uh, going off. It's searching for a GPS signal, which I can't find because I'm indoors. And the Bluetooth chip is currently looking um, to be discovered. So that's about it. Um, take a look at the description of the video in order to find a parts list and uh, URLs to the various places that I've picked up all the different parts. So good luck and thanks for watching.